Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Uh, I think most of the locals would know me. I'm John Proud, the Vice President of the Chamber of Northern Chamber of Commerce. Our President, Paul Tomlinson, is again travelling north after undergoing a knee reconstruction. So I'd like to welcome you all to this Royalties for Regions Business Development Information Briefing. And this is the sixth in a proposed series of seven. Similar briefings have been held in Geraldton, Kalgoorlie, Boulder, Albany, Collie and Mandurah. So I welcome you and thank the guests who will be speaking to us to give us valuable information. The Northern Chamber of Commerce is hosting this event at the request of the Department of Commerce, the organising state government agency. The Northern Chamber of Commerce exists purely to promote local business and we do see this as a vital function in our existence and bringing this to Northern to make this available for local businesses is a very valuable thing. You may recall that we've been heavily involved in the arrival here of our detention centre up the road and we, st we, we continue in our efforts to make sure local businesses have input into the developments at that centre. I'd like to acknowledge that the funding for the briefing today has been provided from Royalties for Regions, a very dear friend of ours, through the Department of Regional Development and Lands. The purpose of the briefing is to inform regional small and medium to medium enterprises about state and federal government assistance programs that, that may interest you. It's uh, also about the state government's policy approach to supporting regional small to medium enterprises to access opportunities relating to government purchasing and resource projects. Consequently, we have a wide variety of speakers who will present to us for up to 10 minutes on their respective comments, topics, sorry. Uh, at the end of the presentations, not the first or the second, there will be the opportunity to ask questions. Also, the information provided today is available on a USB device. If you have not received one of these, speak to Natalie Stoddart. Natalie's here, I saw her a moment ago. Where is she? Other, oh, thank you, Natalie. And she can assist you. I would also like to highlight that nominations are now open for the Western Australian Industry and Export Awards which are the state's most prestigious business awards, acknowledging the efforts of small and large businesses. Once again, this is contained on the USB device. So I'd ask you to please welcome our first speaker, Ms Jenny van der Meeberg. Thank you, <coughs> Thank you very much, uh, Jenny. Often in a smaller centre like Northern, we don't... Uh, think much about, we don't often think about export opportunities or our business contacts with other countries, but as I listened to Jenny, I, th I thought of somebody who should be here, Floating Edge Design from Gemelling, which uh, is making superb, mature, aged, native timber tables in superb designs, and they are doing their own marketing overseas. Can I book a USB for them. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Natalie. <coughs> Our next speaker is Ms. Julie Mizen. Mizen, Mizen sorry. <laughs> uh, from, a tra uh, from Oz Industry, the Department of Industry, Innovation, Science, Research and Tertiary Education. Please welcome Julie. Thanks, Julie, for that. Uh, I think we can see a pattern developing of having our horizons widened without even trying very hard. I think of at least two local businesses who could probably plug into the services offered to us by Julie. 
Our next speaker is Mr. Martin Sebus. Uh, that's a slight change in program, if, if you've got that list. He's the Innovative Regions Facilitator with Southwest Enterprise Connect. Mr. Sebus. Um, if I could just have a show of hands, um, are there any Enterprise Connect companies in the room? Anyone that's been through Enterprise Connect? Thank you very much, Martin. Uh, I think what is emerging is that, I guess, businesses in places like Northern have, see, have seen themselves as working alone, but uh, I guess the message today is that we are not alone. And I don't mean we have extraterrestrials, but I guess to many of us, all this, uh, the people who are available today, who have so much to offer to us, we often see as extraterrestrials, but they're here among us today, so it's very valuable. And our next uh, speaker is Mr. Robert Taglia Ferry from the Depart the dreaded Department of Finance, is it? <laughs> ah, good. <laughs> so please welcome Robert. Thank you very much for that encouraging message, Robert. Uh, apart from some reservations about Northern being regarded as the eastern part of Western Australia, it reminds me a little bit of New South Wales, where the, the entire Western area with from government offices were administered from Lithgow, which struggles to be over the Blue Mountains. But, oh, never let that happen. But? Oh, never let that happen. <laughs> um, but, uh, it's great to hear that uh, the, the projects which are available locally will be looked after more by regional people. It's no secret that several businesses fairly recently have been burnt by government contracts administered from Perth. So this is certainly good news. I'd now like you to welcome Ms Natalie Stoddart, and here's Natalie, from the Department of Commerce who are really the organising genius is be, be, uh, responsible for this morning. Welcome, Natalie. Thank you, Natalie, reminding us again that really we may see ourselves in isolation, but the fact is that uh, we aren't alone. Now we've got the local act. We've got Simon, we, Simon Dempster we all know and love. Uh, from Splice Projects. Simon Dempster. Thank you. Thanks, Simon. Those of us who know him realise how innovative he has been and how much good work he's done. In fact, most of us know that Simon is the builder of what must certainly be the state's largest empty shed. Our final speaker is Mr Robert Bailey, the Regional Outreach Officer for the Department of Immigration and Citizenship. Mr. Please welcome Mr Bailey. Thank you, Robert. Uh, we're used to seeing officers from the Department of uh, Immigration and Citizenship here, but uh, they're generally from that fenced place up the hill, so it's, uh, it's quite refreshing to see someone who can help us if we are seeking employees from beyond our shores. That concludes the presentations today. I trust you've found them valuable. I certainly have. And I suggest to you that we will, the people who have prevented, presented will be available for questions. Just go up and speak to them. Don't let them escape. If you have questions, grab them and ask them of them. So thank you for your atten attendance and thank you for your attention.